whether you want to have chili in the morning, but when it looks this good, honestly, I eat anything for breakfast. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be breakfast food. Sometimes leftovers is my favorite even for breakfast. So let me just pour you some comfort food. Fall, yummy, hot comfort food. That's what is so beautifully done in the La Crusade, the Dutch oven. And there you go, right there, a little dollop of the sour cream, a few little uh, scallions, and then of course some cheese. I say no to the radishes, <laughs> but that's just me, okay? In the meantime, here's the best part. I want to show you the size. This is literally seven and a half quarts. That is about 12 and a half inches across. With the lid, which is a brand new piece, it's about seven inches in depth. The good thing about bigger pieces like this is you can make a little or you can make a lot. And that's what is so great. Every one of these colors, before I go through colors, will come in the orange box. The orange flame colored box that everybody knows is La Crusade. We'll tell you more about it. There are recipes that come with it as well. I want to start with this brand new color called licorice. That licorice, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Okay, Jerry, walk on over and take this from me. It's all gone. Thank you. The last time it was on was midnight. <laughs> so anyway, we'll go to the next new color. This is a beautiful deep teal, brand new, and you can see how gorgeous that teal color is. That is, that will actually ship out right away. Then we also have cool mint. Now this is in advance order, I believe, and that's going to ship out October 18th. Cool mint is only at QVC. So if you want to get this, and by the way, this is just a little tag, okay, that will come off later. Um, this is done in the Cerise Red. Now we've had La Crusade and Cerise. So if you love that beautiful red, ask for Cerise. This next one is done in our beautiful Oyster Gray. Check that out. I want to show you too. There's definitely that ombre effect where it's deeper at the bottom or darker at the bottom in the color and then it gets a little bit lighter as it comes up to the top of the Dutch oven. But that's our oyster gray and very, very popular at midnight. Here's another beautiful one. This is called meringue. And meringue is more of a cream color. So it's a beautiful cream on there. Not white, but cream. This this is the color I have, and it's the Marseille, the Marseille blue. It's really like the blue waters that are around France, and so that's the Marseille. But look in contrast to this is Marseille, this is called indigo. Indigo is more of a deeper, inky blue. In five dozen left that we can ship out right away in the indigo. So if you want that deeper blue, give us a call right away. Here is the flame color, that flame orange that is so well known because when La Crusade first came out, that's the color. And then Soleil. Okay, flame is in advance orders only. They will ship out October 18th. And Soleil is also in advanced orders. They will ship out October 18th. 300 left in the yellow Soleil that we can ship out October 18th. You're still going to have them in plenty of time for the holidays. But the key here is that you have all those colors to choose from. What I want to just tell you, listen carefully. If you have ever priced La Crusade, and if you were to go on to lacrusade.com right now, $400, this same pot, $400, look what QVC is doing. We are taking $130 off the retail value and bringing it in at $269.98. You can even break that down to five monthly payments of $54 a month on any of the major credit cards we own or that we you know, accept. And also think about gifts. Is this what you want to get for your mom? Is this what you want to get for your wife? Is this what you want to get for your husband? Maybe he's the great cook. Maybe it's for your grandmother. Maybe there's been one that's been passed down in your family from your grandmother. And now it's time for you to get a brand new one. Because here's the thing. 
the brand new ones have some wonderful characteristics like that really hard, durable exterior, that enamel interior, but no seasoning necessary. Imagine, no seasoning necessary. Just keep in mind, there's a lot of things we'll talk about, and this is the first time we are bringing this to you with a glass lid and a stainless steel knob, which will make it a little lighter than what it normally is. Let's make some short ribs and bring in our chef and director of culinary at uh, La Crusade, and his name is Nate Collier. Nate, how are you? It's Mary Beth, good morning. Hey, Mary Beth, how are you? I'm excited. I'll tell you what, I'm excited for seven and a half quarts of chili for breakfast. You just put an egg right on top of that. You have breakfast right there. Hey, and I I'm just, excited. like I say, you can eat anything at any time. <laughs> absolutely right, especially today, because I'm cooking for 24 hours. But yeah. that's the thing that I love about this vessel, because you get the amazing flavor from the cast iron heat retention, all that brown, beautiful goodness. You get the ease of use and easy release of the enamel which we're famous for for oh, almost 100 years. But here's the added benefit. The sloped sides add a lot of versatility for stirring, for soups and stews. And the glass lid, like you said, not only cook and look, but it's lighter. This is a wide top vessel. So the cast iron lid, while it does conduct extra heat, it's heavy. And so the glass lid allows for that. It also allows for great buffet service. You know mm -hmm. the holidays are coming up. If you want to serve something right from this in these beautiful colors that we're seeing, you can just put the lid on and people don't need to open it um, to see what's going on. And so typically what we would do in a Dutch oven, Mary Beth, is something like this, where I've got almost a five pound chuck roast in here. I've seared it off. I've got some tomato paste and everything going in there. And so this is what we typically know from a Dutch oven. Beautiful sear on this meat. You can see that lovely crust flavor. That's from the heat retention of the enamel staying hot. And here is the kicker for the enamel. I'm going to braise this pot roast in um, some soda. It's a red-ish cola from the south. So if you guys are familiar, <laughs> um, try it. I had, uh, I should say we had um, short ribs braised in a cola at our wedding reception dinner. Oh, and it was boy. amazing because it adds some sugar and caramelization, but at the same time, um, it's not too sweet. It builds the sauce. And so this is going to go with lots of aromatic right over the top. Right. And the thing that I love about this shape, uh, Mary Beth, when, when we're flipping a large roast like this, sometimes it's hard to get down in there and flip it with the straight side. Right. This slope allows me to flip this large roast with ease. Right. And I really, really love that. And then what we'll do, again, with the cast iron lid, we're not sacrificing a lot here. We still have the lift that locks in the steam. I would put that lid right on top of this roast right here and take it to the, oh, look at the sear you got on those short ribs. <laughs> when you're talking right about there. short ribs at your wedding, I'm like, shoot, I'm making short ribs right now. And doing the amazing. browning. You know, the beauty of the, the cast iron is that you can get that great sear, whether it's short ribs, whether it's a chicken, whether it's steaks, whatever it might be. But then when you want to actually do this, and add in your onions, your celery, your carrots, etc. And then put a beautiful beef stock or it can have a little wine in it if you want to. I mean, you can do that. And here's the other thing. I think here's the wine. Oh, yeah. I thought we were going to do that whole pitcher of wine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Save some to drink. Yeah, exactly. So here's what I want to show you. Watch this. Let me just quickly go over to the oven. And I want to open the door before, oh, that one's already got one in it. I guess we will put it in here. No, that's the, I'll take the other one out. Excuse me. Let's go ahead. There's something else in here. I'll take that one out. And then will put mine in. So this is the best part. You can take one out. And a lot of, some people are getting more than one because if you love to do a couple of different things, you can. Let me put that in the oven. And literally within about two to half, two and a half, three hours at 350, you're going to have some fantastic food. I'll show you mine in just a moment. I want to quickly go to colors because so many people already shopping. And also, if you have La Crusade, 
give us a call. I'd love it if you would share your story. 1-800-395-1601. And here's the thing you should know too. Not only is this La Crusade, this is the biggest one we offer. The well, biggest one we've ever had as a today's special and the largest one we have in our assortment. Seven and a half, um, seven and a half quarts is what it, it will uh, accept. But remember, you can make a little bit in a big pot too. This is that brand new deep teal. Brand new to QVC, it is a gorgeous teal. So if you wanna get that one, by all means do. Then we also have the cool mint. This is only at QVC. Nobody else has this and it has been flying out. In fact, it's on advance orders only and that will ship out October 18th. If I don't say it's on advance orders, that means it ships out right away. Here's the Cerise Red. That is always a popular one from La Crusade, especially with the ones we've had before. Oyster Gray, always very, very popular. And that has that beautiful, the, all of them have this ombre where it's deeper color at the bottom and then it comes up. Then this is the meringue. Think of a meringue pie. What's on top? It's that beautiful ivory kind of color that you have here. It's just stunning from bottom to top in that wonderful meringue. Then we come to our two blues, and this is the Marseille blue. That's the blue that we've had here for years and years. But this is the indigo, and the indigo is that deeper, darker, like almost like a navy kind of blue. That one, if you want to get it shipped out right away, there's four dozen left. Then it will go to advance orders. This one already on advance orders, that flame orange, which is really truly the original color. 500 to go around that will ship out October 18th. And then we have the Soleil yellow. That is also in advance orders. And that one will ship out October 18th as well. And 250 of those to go around even in the advance order. Um, that's the thing that we really want. Now here's the thing. I want to go back to a couple quick things if I may. Nate, first of all, why cook with cast iron? We'll show you how it's made in a moment. But right now I want people who've never had cast iron, or maybe their grandmothers did, but they didn't, grandma didn't teach them about it. Why cook in cast iron and why these cast iron pieces from La Crusade? Well, the, the number one thing about cast iron is the heat retention. Nothing holds on to heat like cast iron. And so that's a number of different things. One, you get that rich brown sear you showed on those pork chops in this um, pot roast that I did. And then on top of that, the enamel allows for the release of all that flavor, but also easy to maintain, fully sealed, dishwasher safe, lifetime warranty. So you develop the flavor, you get everything that you want, plus you get tender, tender texture. If you see this pot roast, I could come in here with a spoon and shred this apart. It's so beautiful, mm -hmm. easy, easy to do. And you can see here, the cast iron not only develops the brown rich flavor, yeah. but also it can hold a lower temperature when you're trying to cook low and slow for big cuts like this or chilies better than other things because the temperature doesn't fluctuate as much as it would with a thinner vessel. And right. so it's less easy to burn. You get beautiful texture like this. I mean, I'd eat this for breakfast. This could turn into hash <laughs> very easily. You better <laughs> believe it with some hash browns uh, even. <laughs> exactly. And so that is the secret. Cast iron heat retention allows you to develop the flavor. Yeah. The enamel sets us apart for ease of use and easy to maintain. Right. There's no seasoning. You don't right. have to worry about it rusting or oxidizing. Yeah. And then the shape allows for easy stirring. Mm -hmm. The lid locks in moisture. And I love what you said earlier those short ribs look amazing, by the way. They look at that do. rich sauce. I want to eat them. you don't have to use the seven and a half quarts full capacity. Right. If you want to use this like an oven casserole and do a cobbler mm. or something, you can fill it half full and use it the same way you would something else. But if you do want all of that capacity, we have seven and a half quarts. And right. that is, you know, close to 15 bowls of chili. Oh you can do gosh. batch cooking for this. I love to roast a chicken or a big pork roast in one of these for the whole week and just eat it as the week goes yeah. along. And <laughs> we're coming up on soup season. Yes. Um, down here in Charleston is still a little bit warm, but uh -huh. I love soup because it Ooh. gets better day by day by day. True. And we've got this beautiful 
minestrone here. And one thing I love about this vessel, again, it brings the heat all the way up the sides so you get even cooking with the cat.